In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install the Moen M-Core tub and shower valve. Now we installed the four port valve on our trainer and I gotta tell you, man, I had to change shirts. This video is sponsored by Ferguson. Now we teamed up with Ferguson because of everything that they do for plumbers and the plumbing community, helping us get the products and parts we need much faster. Now tub and shower valves are different, but this is a very easy install. What this does is it gets homeowners option with shower functionality and style. Now the one that I installed looks amazing. This just does not look like your normal tub and shower valve. The shower head is very large, very spread out, but also very thin. So it gets good flow patterns and the spout and diverter look sharp. Now I gotta tell you, it was 100 degrees out there and I was sweating my tail off. So actually I had to come in and change shirts for the intro and I'll talk more to you about it here in a little bit, but let's look at the valve installation first. This is my training tub and I love this because we can actually work on installing faucets, valves, things like that, shower heads, anything, but we can also use this trainer to help pull out cartridges, change them out. Now this is a construction type valve. It does not have a cartridge in it. And I love that because I can't tell you through the years how many of these things I've seen get burned up. So I'm gonna put it back together just like they had it. Now I know that I want the sheetrock to be right here. So I am literally gonna look at this and figure out right where I want it. Now I can take a measurement and mark it, but I'm one of these people, I just really like to get it up there close and see it, mark center on it, and then do the same thing on the other side. And once I have that done, I'll double check. I'm looking at right at seven eighths of an inch. A little bit off here, so I'm gonna move it up just a hair because I didn't have quite as good a visual on that one. And I'm gonna get that done. Now I'm gonna make sure I mark the right elevation. And I know that I wanna be 32 inches off the floor. So I'm gonna come off the plate here and come up 30 and a half inches. And do the same thing over here. So now that I got my holes marked, I'm gonna get in here. I have a short stubby drill because I've got a real tight area. So what I'm gonna do is measure from the back side of the tub to center. I wanna know right where my tub spot is. And on this, I've got 14 and three quarters. So I wanna make sure my valve center's up at 14 and three quarters. So what I'm gonna do, look at makeup on my copper tubing. So I've got five and a half, and I know I wanna go to 14 and three quarters to center. So I'm gonna subtract out, get my measurement, and then measure my makeup. So always look on the valve, see where the top is, and it's clearly marked up. Measure from center out to makeup.
pickup is right there. 25 and a quarter. Should be minus two. Is 23 and a quarter.
Okay, so now we got everything soldered up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in construction mode. That way we've got the plug in. Now, this is actually safe to test. So we've got it sealed off so we can actually do a water test now. And put the protector back on right there. And I'll look down the side and see that I am sticking out right where I want to be. So things are actually looking good. So right here, I would be ready to go ahead and let them sheetrock, let them do whatever they want to do. I've got everything good. I've got a protector on. I can put screws in it where it'll actually stay right there. Also, if I was out on the job site, I'd put a stud back here. I'd put a brace and I'd also put a brace for this. Now, as you see, this is not very long, so it's not going to move around much. I'm not worried about it here, but if I was out on a job site, I would definitely put a two by four up here and screw my drop air to L in. That way I know I don't have to worry about it. Now, as you can tell, it's hot here. It's about a hundred degrees outside here in Dallas and we're outside working in the shop, but I wanted to get out here on the trainer and show y'all what the install looks like. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off. We're gonna put the cartridge in and put the trim on to show you what it looks like. Okay, so if this goes in here, that keeps that from moving. So you put it in like that, push it back. You wanna make sure you lubricate these up really good. That way everything slides and you don't have any problems. Look inside, see where your holes are. And it lines right in and locks up. Then you wanna get your sleeve in and mount ready for your mounting plate. Now, the mounting plate goes in, lines up on your screw holes. And then you got the lock ring that'll go in right on top. So as you see, we got everything in. I gotta tell you, I love this finish. This looks good and this is a way somebody can literally change the look of their bathrooms almost immediately. So all we gotta do is turn the water on. Oh, that's right, this is the trainer. As you can see, this is a really cool looking valve. Now I really do like this. I like Moen, I like the fact that they stand behind their product like they do. And when they come out with something new, I love trying it. This is a very classy look, something that if anybody wants to upgrade the look of their bathroom, this is something they can do relatively inexpensively. Anyway, you saw me do the whole install. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again to Ferguson. If you are interested in learning more about this valve, go to ferguson.com. And if you have not joined it, check out their Facebook group. Again, this has been the Moen M Core, and I love it. Moen, thank you also for everything you do for the plumbing communities. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.